Today I'm sharing a channeled message that tells us that no one is going to be left behind in this ascension process, that no soul will be forgotten. I'm Ann Tucker and this is the Spirit Means Business YouTube channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe using the little button in the corner or you can go down underneath the description of this video. There's a spot where you can subscribe to the channel and that way you'll be sure to catch all of the videos that I do like this. So I've been doing a series of channeled messages. As you guys know, I'm a, uh, a trans channel. I channel from the angelic realm and, and they've been telling us about what to expect because this fall is going to be really crazy and it is a process that we're going through, that humanity is going through and that the earth is going through all at the same time to raise our vibration. And you know, when we're healing on this sort of this massive scale, and that's really what this is happening is all this stuff coming to the surface. It's a healing, just like it is when an individual gets a healing. And if you're a healer, if you practice healing, if you've ever received a healing, you may know that part of the process is, you know, we, we have these blocked energy, stuck energies, emotions that are within our body. And in order to clear them, they have to come up. We have to feel them. We have to experience them. And when we do, they only last for about 90 seconds and then they pass from us, right? But if we never feel them, they'll stay stuck in our energy. So that is what we're going through right now. The humanity that, that we are experiencing, all the junk is coming up to the surface and we have to really feel it. And when we feel it, then we, then it transmutes, then it, 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 then it, it passes from us, right? It returns back to negative and neutral energy and goes back to source. So, so this is the process that we're going through. And I think it's super important to know before we get into the channelings to understand that part of the reason we're going through this process is because the earth itself is changing, that the earth is raising its vibration. And that if we want to stay here, we have to raise our vibration, that we won't be able to stay anymore, that we have to be of a higher vibration in order to habit, inhabit the earth. So that's part of why there's this big push where we have to do this now. So let me share with you what the angels have said. And I'm going to actually share two different pieces. One is from a previous channeling and then part is a new channeling because both are on this topic about what happens to those of us who aren't ready yet, right? Because there's a lot of us, as you guys know, not everybody is, is aware. Not everybody is on a spiritual path. There's a lot of people who come to the earth who have maybe tried for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. I can just imagine that they've been saying, you know, this time I'm going to make a different choice or this time I'm going to do it differently. But you get here and it's hard and then maybe they don't make progress and people get locked into this karmic wheel where they're just living the same problems over and over and over again. And, and for those people, what, what happens to them? And the angels here are telling us that they're going to be cared for as well. So here's what they say. So they're talking about, uh, okay, they say, an opening is what develops, an opening in possibility, a chance for ascension. We must take this opportunity for humanity. It rises up within each person like a wave of possibility for them to ride or pass, to join or fall they will determine their own path they may choose it will be a choice for them to be lifted with the rest or left behind it's okay we are equally in service to either opportunity but we wish for as many as possible to join and rise to be more of what is possible to experience greater reality than what they have known it can be achieved now with our help we assist to make this happen we want all to have the chance so really, like I said, there's no judgment here. There's no, no, just because somebody is ascending, it doesn't make them better than somebody who is not ascending. It's just where are they on this particular journey, right? Are they closer or further from home is all it's saying. And the angels are saying they, they want to try to help as many of us to move forward because they're telling us, hey, it's going to be great. <laughs> you really want to get there. Like, let's hurry up. Let's hurry this process and get there. Um, so, and then they speak a little bit, this is to me, they say, you wish for all to be saved and probably for you too. You wish for all to be saved. Not all will ascend. It will be, as we said, their choice. You can wish it is kind, but know that they are sovereign. You must respect their destiny as chosen by themselves. It will be all it is meant to be. Have not the trouble of taking on worries, trauma, not your own. Be not the savior of every being. Help those who help themselves, who wish to follow, who want to ascend. So this is really, really they're asking us to sort of release the feeling and that sense of responsibility that we have, that it's, that, you know, that obviously we, we don't want to see anybody suffer. And it's going to look, this fall is going to look like suffering. 
And I will tell you that, that, and I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, that I believe we're right now, we're heading into this period. As a matter of fact, one of my earlier, so there's several different themes around the videos that I've uploaded so far. And one of them is around what I call, it's called the Earth Rift, and you can find that one. And that one, uh, I believe that's a volcano and potentially a super volcano. And I believe that could be occurring very soon, um, as early as uh, right now when Mars stations direct coming up on the 9th and 10th. It could be as early as that. Um, so that's literally, I'm filming this today on, what is this, the September 7th. So that's like four days away. Um, and so, so that could be it. And uh, it may be, if it's not then, it might be a little later this fall. But know that the window, we are, we are in the window at this point. So, um, and the kind of things that are going to be happening, one is this, this, this giant earth rift, which is the big concern there, is the ash and the debris and the dust that travels. And they said this could affect all on earth. Um, and that, that would have massive impacts. And, and, uh, and a beautiful factor of that is that it, it could, if, if we had this kind of a massive volcanic eruption, uh, or an earth rift, this giant opening in the earth, it would reverse climate change, right? It would cool the planet. So there is a, a rhyme and a reason to it, right? That just like our bodies are self-healing, the earth is self-healing. Um, but in addition to that, we also have, you know, issues with supply chains. They, they said that the truck drivers will stop driving their routes. Um, so it may be harder to get things. So which is why I've been telling you to please, if you haven't gone out and gotten, a, you know, a supply that'll last you some months of, you know, maybe just even a bag of rice and a bag of beans, you know, just something to get you through in case this happens. These are all probabilities, no promises here. They're not saying this is absolutely going to happen. These are all probabilities, but you want to be prepared and there's no harm in doing something like that and just being a little bit prepared. Um, they're also saying things like the banks will close. They're saying that the stock market will drop, that we will have uh, that towards the end of this year, towards the end of November, that uh, that really we're looking at a, a sort of a revolution in our country. And so these are all other videos that I've posted. So please do check out, if you haven't seen those, check out on the channel. You'll see there each, the, the topic titles will kind of direct you. But uh, this is all happening this fall. So we're heading into the thick of it. Um, and so the big question is what happens to those who are not ready to come with us and so here is the the uh, another piece of it a different channeling that they shared on this same topic and they said um, you must be nearer to source so that you may continue to breathe the air of this earth because as you are aware it evolves into being higher than it has been so this is what i was saying that that the earth itself is raising its vibration. So they're saying, okay, in order to stay here, you have to raise your vibration in order to be a vibrational match to the earth. They say, therefore, you may not remain within its toxic embrace for those who have not achieved enlightenment. So what they're saying there, in, in my interpretation, is that it would actually be, it's, it's, it would not be, uh, uh, inhabitable for people at a lower, or who are not, who have not raised their vibration to match their earth's new vibration. So uh, they go on to say, um, you have tried many times to achieve this for others. However, they are unwilling and will be removed because they cannot stay in their vibration any longer here. Therefore, we assist with their removal. So the angels are actually going to help people who are not ready to raise their vibration. They're actually going to be helping them and they're, and they're going to go through here and describe exactly how they're going to do it. And they're taking great care with everyone, um, every one of us. They're taking great care with all of us. And this entire process is being held by the angels, this entire ascension process. As crazy as it feels, they're guiding us through this whole process. They say, um, we have acknowledged their pattern of growth. They are enumerated by receipt of their occurrence each and every lifetime. Um, and we know that this habit has endured for many generations. So that's a complicated sentence. And I want to add some clarity how I'm interpreting that. They're saying they are enumerated by receipt of their occurrence each and every lifetime. So what I believe that means is that uh, to be enumerated is sort of like when things are defined by being sort of listed out, like here's a list of like one thing, uh, like and, and it clarifies, it adds clarification or understanding. So I think, um, uh, and they're saying they're enumerated by receipt of their occurrence. So I think this is like, these are the patterns that you live lifetime after lifetime that help to define yourself or you define yourself as who you are. So, so people are sort of, when they're saying they're 
are enumerated, they are defined by receipt of their recurrence, by, by, by being born back into the same karmic patterns lifetime after lifetime, right? And that they've endured for many generations. So that's what I believe they're saying here is that, and, they're, and the angels are saying they're acknowledging this pattern of growth, that this has been a pattern of growth that, that many humans have been going through, is coming back lifetime after lifetime and living these karmic patterns. Then they go on to say, we have taken care to sustain their pattern to another level of their being so that they can transfer their parade to yet another location where they will be sustained, but not here. So my interpretation of what that means is that they're saying that they're taking, they, they've taken care to take this pattern, this karmic growth pattern that, that each, you know, each person has been going through and they've brought it up to another level of their being. So they brought it up, maybe it's to, to a higher level of their being, to part of that, you know, a higher level of their soul where it can be transferred, right? So they're retaining all this information, all the work the person has done so far, all the patterns that they've been working through and they've been, they've been preserving them for them so that they, and they said they're going to transfer their parade to yet another location so then they continue to live out this pattern so everybody gets to choose for themselves they're really saying is it is that if you really want to stay and continue or if somebody's in a place where they really want to continue working this out then they can do that and the angels are facilitating that happening so here they go on to say you have identified the way in which we have decided is best to remove so many it, this is going to be occurring within the envelope of your experience. It happens. Now you have understood that we will be overseeing this process so that all are protected and ensnared in this vacuum that will ensure their delivery to their new location. They will be protected. So, um, and what they're saying when they say, I understand this, is there was a previous channeling um, uh, where they they described, and it was just a sentence, where they described that that during the process of the this earth rift that there would be a gap or an opening that people would be ushered through um, and uh, and then brought to this new location so it, it really is and they're saying it's like a vacuum that no one is missed um, and I actually had a friend of mine who had a prophetic dream who had a dream confirming exactly this where she saw um, the angels lining people up as if they were lining them to go and and one person like sort of tried to get away like they were like no I don't really want to. I'm just gonna go off here and get distracted or get lost and the angel went and got them and rounded them up and brought them back so they were trying to really say no one is going to be lost in this process that everyone is is being protected um, but so so during this process they will be gathered up and they will be brought through um, to their new destination where they can continue to live as per their choice what they what the life that they want the experience that they want to have so um, so then they go on to say enlightenment is achieved in part through the process of their removal they will achieve a higher level of awareness when they access this new dimension therefore they are willing to go to this place they have not yet experienced what it can be so um so what i understand this to mean and, and the way i've understood this and made sense of it to myself is that um is that before coming here we determine and we understand how we're going to leave we know what our own death will be and what the circumstances of our death so it's part of our life plan our death is an important part of our life plan so anyone who comes in and doesn't make it through the events of this fall they would have known that coming in. They would have known that this was gonna be their time to exit. But what's interesting to me is that imagine if you had been coming to Earth lifetime after lifetime, leading an existence where you were caught in a karmic cycle, where you, you every time you thought, you know what, this time I'm gonna do it differently, I'm gonna make a different choice, and I'm gonna break free, and I'm gonna raise my vibration. And it didn't work, right? You got here, and it's, the de it's dense, and it's hard, and maybe that person didn't make it, right? They didn't, they, and then they, you know, they, they died and they got there and they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to have to go and try again. And, you know, can you imagine lifetime after lifetime of this? Well, then imagine someone comes to you and says, all right, if you agree to come this time and we're going to have this huge awakening event and yes, it will be a difficult time and people will die, but in that death, you will be guaranteed to raise your vibration, right? And you will be guaranteed and if someone offered me that, yeah, I would, yes, I would sign up, right? I would be like, yes, please, I want to do that. So that's how I'm making sense of the events this fall. That's how I'm understanding that, 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 that this is, there is something to be gained for the people who do and who might, if this event happens, 
who could potentially perish in this in this volcano thing, this earth rift that they've talked about. If this happens, like I said, it's not guaranteed to happen, but if it happens, the people who are lost in that experience are not really lost, that they are brought through. The angel said they're held, they're protected, they're carried through to this new location. Their path is fully intact and they're allowed to, to, to they're given a space where they can continue to lead, lead the life that they want to live. Um, and in doing so, because of how this process works, is their vibration is instantly raised. So they get something wonderful out of it. So to continue on, um, and as I'm talking about that, I want to be really sensitive to the fact that as I'm talking about this, this hasn't happened yet, right? And this may never happen, but this has not happened yet. And I understand if you are listening to this after this has happened, and maybe if you lost people that you love or that you care for in this experience, I don't mean in any way to minimize that pain or that difficulty. Like I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really trying to look at it and, and, and have an explanation for why. And that's all. Um, so anyways, continuing on. Uh, so they say they are experiencing some ambiguity, which is natural given what they are going to do. They have not succeeded in receiving the energies of awareness. You may continue with your existence here because you are lightened enough to be able to stay. You have received the vibrations we have transmitted for all. But not many are receptive to these energies because they have not achieved the level that is needed in order for them to stay. So we will help them relocate. Do not fear for their happiness or their recent struggle. We know it's hard to imagine that they will perish so heatedly, but they are in agreement with this process because they have the chance to uplift their vibration. So, all right, so I wanted to share that. It seems... Um, a little harder to share that right now, feeling like this could be right on the horizon. Um, but I think all the more reason why it's important to share. So um, interesting thoughts, and um, and let's just see what unfolds over this 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 summer. I mean, I think um, if this occurs, I, I think that there's there's a lot of hope for the Earth in terms of a rapid cooling of global warming, um, and and then leading into our ascension. And, and this is, like I said, a necessary process that, that the angels have said that this is not something, it's it's not a walk in the park, but it can't be avoided if we're gonna get there, if we're gonna get to this higher vibration. And that and that whether we agree or not, the earth is going there anyways. So either we, either we come along and join the party or we can choose not to. And that's up to each one of us, gets to make that choice um, at a spiritual level. So, all right, so hopefully this was a helpful message, you guys. Don't forget, again, like the video, please, and please subscribe to the channel, and you'll become more of this. And if you'd like to join me in my Facebook group, the Spirit Means Business Facebook group, I would love to see you there. I'm live every Friday at 10 a.m. in that group, and it's a great group, um, very supportive. We talk about uh, all kinds of stuff like this, but also um, spirituality in your business. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time.